I'm Martha Shea. Joining us now is motivational speaker and trick skier Nolan Barnes. Nolan, you're a pretty busy guy now, attending SIAST and doing a lot of speaking engagements, but it wasn't such a positive story for you back in 2010, was it? No, actually, I started out uh, uh, just like any other high school kid, wanting to have a good time. Mm -hmm. I had party lots, and uh, actually that grade 12 years, first time I started smoking pot, and then from there it progressed to the heart of drugs, to ecstasy, cocaine, and uh, pretty soon I kind of lost sight of uh, everything. And I used to come to Saskatoon to go to these raves, and uh, we wouldn't sleep. We'd just drive back, pull the 24-hour thing. And we did it plenty of times, except for um, the one evening on May 8th, uh, or one morning, sorry, we were driving back, and uh, the driver of the vehicle uh, lost control of the vehicle, rolled it, wasn't wearing my seatbelt, got ejected, broke my back. Um, and ever since then, I've been paralyzed. Um, it was actually just a couple months after that that I was asked to uh, engage in speaking with uh, the party program of Saskatoon. And uh, I was honored, and I thought that was, you know, some of the best therapy that I could have gotten uh, to talk to mm -hmm. the youth of uh, Saskatchewan and uh, get to see or get to let them know uh, my experience and hopefully help help them make some better decisions. So it was really helpful to you to speak about your experience. What uh, kind of motivated you to get through the dark time between when the accident happened and when you started kind of moving forward? You know, uh, at the end of the day, kind of once I uh, was in the hospital, I sobered up. Um, I was thinking a lot more clearly that I have a family that uh, raised me really well. And um, when I had this opportunity to speak, um, I didn't really know what, to, what would come with it. I didn't know if it would be an ongoing thing or if it would be a once in a while thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I enjoyed it so much that uh, I just kept on with it. So you do speaking engagements all over the place in hospitals and high schools and going around talking to folks. How, what else do you fill your time with? Uh, there's some extreme sports in there. Too. Yeah, yeah. I started water skiing actually the very first summer I was injured. Um, only went a few times a year. Uh, the next year, uh, went a few more times to the, mm -hmm. the Saskatoon Water Sports Club. Uh, they have a great uh, team of people out there that will help everybody from rookie to uh, good professional skiers and uh, I was fortunate enough to get to uh, go to uh, Florida, Orlando, Florida, to practice skiing in October, and then from there, um, I got selected to go uh, with the national team to Italy and at the end of August here. Um, still a lot of work yet to go, but uh, yeah, do a lot of practice, uh, a lot of practice. And so what's next for you? Do uh, you want to continue uh, with your athletics and kind of continue spreading the message and, and speaking to teams about the kind of dangers that can happen when you're, when you're drinking too much? Yes, yes, you know, and kids are going to go out and do what they want to do, and they're going to have fun, right? Um, but the main thing is, is learn to do it responsibly. Um, even with this texting and driving thing, it's just like, uh, you know, alcohol used to be back in the day. It's just something that some people um, did before it was a law, and uh, it's, it's very dangerous, you know. There's just as many people get hurt or killed uh, texting and driving as well as drinking and driving. And uh, my message is to get out there to say um, that I want... Um, this, you know, to kind of stop, like it shouldn't be a habit, it shouldn't be um, something that everyone does and doesn't think anything else. Well, thanks so much for coming to see us this morning, Nolan. We really appreciate your message and you kind of getting it out there to, uh, to kids and young folks. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll be back in a bit after the break.